Hey, I told everybody today was uh, St. Patrick's Day, but guess what? I was wrong. But hey, I'm still wearing green. You got my green uh, on, baby. We got uh, Fortenberry and Scoff in the uh, studio with me today. We got a lot to talk about. We're going to talk about Drew Barrymore and how she uh, knelt for the king or queen. I don't know what you'd say it would be. Of Canada? Uh, well, of something. Yeah. Uh, of something. We got that and a lot more to cover today. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the patio. patio. to the patio i am t and i am back in studio with at least two of my compadres dw still traveling the world in the uh, can we say where he's at i guess we can probably say where he's at he's in jordan he's in jordan he's doing some work uh secret work for the government we'll just call it that we'll secret. just call it that secret. so um yeah he helped negotiate the deal between iran and china and and russia and so he'll be back at some point to give us first-hand stories and look normally i go to fort bay first but since he's gone i'm going to gary first how are you tonight gary you know i'm feeling right tonight son oh why what are you feeling right for i, I, I put you on the spot I, I, you did <laughs> feeling, you spot. feeling stupendous why are you feeling stupendous i, I just am I felt feel, like the right thing feel like, it felt right when it came out you know because the the cream rises to the top i was trying to do my did you man. find any cool stuff here this week or yeah, last few days spectacular uh, since you feel spectacular I, I mean the other day i was at crazy hot deals i found a boob <laughs> just one? Hold yeah, on, it was no. just well, one. It wasn't a pair. Right, it was one here's boob. Here's the real question. It was There's sandy. lots of boobs walking around. Praise had to, was it attached? It was not attached. Was it a box? It was It was a boob, and it was... And it was sandy? It was sandy. It had a nipple. Was it a beach boob? I, no, it was... A, I think it was... So, I mean, is this like a prosthetic? Is it was it, like a prosthetic. Or was it one of those things for, like, men to chest feed? No, I don't think it's chest feed. No, it was definitely not that. I've seen those. Okay. It, there was no attachment. It was just a sandy-feeling silicone-like boob. And you're a boob, Jamie. I'm a boob. Speaking of Jamie, here we are tonight. We have Fortenberry back in studio. Father Fortenberry, as you see at the bottom of the screen, seems like forever since he was here. But look, he also <laughs> thought I was right about the date. Yeah. So he is dicked out in green. Oh, we've got green to put on Hoggo, and we didn't do it. Uh, you didn't uh, do it. I did look, have St. Patty's Day Hoggo stuff. The kids' green shirts to wear tomorrow. I'm glad Scoff told me different. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I realized it like right after we released the last episode. If you listen closely, I actually said the wrong date. So that's, yeah, why, that's why I've been... Uh, no, I'm just I'm over. just out of the game. Yellow's the new green. <laughs> so uh, you were traveling. You've been traveling a lot of weekends. Where were I you have. at this past well, weekend? We Tell were, us about your last weekend. Uh, we was in Father Orlando uh, for Cheers, our last competition of the year. Um, finished third, I think it was. Yeah, we finished third. Uh, we'll leave. How dare they? <sighs> Man, dare it, they? It, it wasn't a good setup. So long mm. story short, they put us in a division we shouldn't have been in. Uh, it was unfair to our girls. I spent my life in the division I shouldn't have been in. Well, so when we started discussing this, so the options were they could. We are a medium sized gym. There was nobody in our group, so they joined us with a small with the small gyms. Okay, so they have less people and less tricks, right? Yeah, yeah. So they only have to do like two stunts, while we have to do six. So that's already out of the, out of the gate a problem. So, uh, how did your stunts work out? How many did you do yourself? I did zero. Jamie was stunning. I heard like, he was stunting in the lobby yeah, of the hotel. He was but now, listen to this. So, uh, here, uh, here's well, the real kicker. Here's the kick in the balls. So, they didn't want us in a group by ourselves because they said, you know, you want you, well, they don't want us just to win a jacket without competing. There was 20 other groups that had one team in it. So, they won just by showing up. Just by showing up. Twenty other. Wow. Now we put up we put up the second high school we've done all year. So I mean our girls did good, mm. yeah, but just not quite good enough for what they were. Yeah. Up against. So nobody's gonna get cut, is what you're saying? Nobody's getting cut now. Nah. Now me and Tommy might get cut. Oh. Hey, that's okay. we, we might get cut because uh, we got now. Turnt. Why would it? Turnt. <laughs> we got turned up. We got twisted. So y'all are the turnt dads of the of the cheer society. Yeah, yeah. There was a uh, there was some that kept up with us Friday, but uh, or uh, Thursday, but Friday we were a two man wrecking crew. Who, who did more tumbling? You or the girls? <laughs> Yeah, how much, how much time did you spend face Look. down? Or actually in a gutter or sleeping with the homeless? So, uh, apparently Friday, <laughs> I scooped Tommy up my arms and fireman carried him all the way through the lobby. 
Did, did, you, did, so you hear song, did you hear music playing in the background? Well, it looked like I came across the threshold. I was holding my like this for a while. I feel like this At is some point, I dropped him, apparently. You tr- <laughs> on his, it wasn't on his head, was it? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't remember nothing. So you made waves so throughout the we're, we're confident we got roofied, though. Yeah, well, that happens. So. It's happened to me before one time. I bet your wives roofied you. Roofied you. That was it. That was yeah. it. No. But good time had, huh? Good time was had. The, the girls did well. I mean, it, the outcome wasn't what we wanted, but... Hey, that's part of life. Hey, that's part of life. Got to know how to deal with it. Got to know how to deal with it. Let's um, jump into some headlines. You know, there's been a lot going on in the news in the last week. Uh, let's talk about some stories front and center here. Um, Russia has taken down one of our um, drones. Russia took down a, a U.S. drone. What's it, Russian for kamikaze? Well, they didn't run into it. They just took it down. They I, like peed I thought on they it collided. Well, they collided, is my understanding, but it wasn't just a collision, like an accident. Like, like the Russian airplanes, from my understanding, were or jets were dumping fuel on it, like trying to make it mad. I guess I don't know. <laughs> See, look, we're here celebrating the uh, St. Patty's Day. We're drinking Guinness, and actually, we got a treat for you guys here in a minute. We're yeah, going to we'll do an Irish car bomb. We're not blowing anything up, but no, we're like, going to. I heard an Irish guy, a guy say that's very offensive. What, Irish well, yeah, car I, was, yeah, and, and, uh, I assume so. <laughs> why is it offensive? <laughs> and American said, why? Just like you did. They said, would you drink something called a uh, 9-11? I, I mean, I, I, like, you know what? I, I get your I, point. I, I believe you would drink something called a 9-11. Absolutely. For what, what would we put in it? Maybe we needed to make that drink. We'll worry about that later. Yeah. But but so Russia, they, they basically just took down a drone. They had two Russian fighters that were flying in that area, and they – it's weird. They like they claim they dump fuel on yeah, they it, fuel and then on they it. clip the well, propeller they, to cause it to go down. Was this thing on the ground? Was it was a no. walking drone? No, it no. was like uh, I heard somebody put it. They said they were trying to do like Top Gun. They were trying to go yeah. inverted to give it the bird, but they couldn't quite <laughs> they make could, it. Clipped it. They didn't have Maverick. They couldn't do it. But isn't that weird? It, I mean, they could have shot it down. They well, could have done anything. But I think it was an accident. I, I, I mean, you think they were med- messing they, with the They US were messing with, like, they were dumping down. fuel on it. I mean, fuel's pretty expensive. Yeah, actually, fuel's very expensive. <laughs> it's expensive. So they were just not messing for Russia. With, they have their own. And not to mention, if you clip it, I'm pretty sure that sort of put them at risk of actually crashing, well, too. Because it's, it's a big, big drone. It's not, a, it's not one of these little drones that we have. It's a big drone. It's like I, a $35 million dollar drone. Yeah, I've never pulled up somebody and tried to clip them in my truck. No, no. I think it was more of an accident. But, you know, Russia's not going to say it's an accident. Because then they look uh, weak if they, if they have accidents right. like that. Well, so I'm going to move on to the next topic here. But um, I expect uh, China's President Winnie the Pooh, Xi Jinping, he'll probably be nominated for a uh, Nobel Peace. Uh, what do they call it? Nobel Pe- Peace Prize? Peace Prize. Hmm. Because he was there. He's getting res- he's getting kudos for negotiating talks can, between can you, Iran and Saudi Arabia. Can you have slave Arabia. camps and also... Um, I guess? Yeah, I think you can. That, that's the Nobel Peace Prize, I believe. Well, well, I no. think you can. I, I don't know that that matters anymore because it's more about how it's put on the national stage. But, um, I mean, this guy negotiated talks between Iran and Saudi Arabia. And now I read today that I think it was, uh, I don't have the article in front of me, but China, Russia, Iran, and uh, maybe North Korea were doing military exercises out in the, the Gulf there. Cool. Hmm. Joint exercise. Who votes on the Nobel, Nobel Peace Prize? Idiots. Uh, yeah, but a bunch of... Two mm-hmm. people that are too smart. They put your assholes in Sweden, I believe. It must be they. They who? I, t- I don't know. They. Oh, okay. The so infamous I, they. The infamous I'm, they. I'm, I'm going to stay on point. Never mind. Stay on point. I don't know. Yeah, you're trying to, I was you're to, trying go, to go. I was fixing to go way, way down a rabbit hole. Mm. Um. Also in the news. Well, I don't know about it being the news. There's a new book out. Uh, I saw um, this guy was on, on PBD podcast named Ed Dowd. He's uh, he's a numbers guy. He actually was on Wall Street, and um, I, I recommend you guys go listen to this interview he did talking about his book. His co- book is called Causes Unknown. I, I, I've heard somebody discuss it. Go I, I have heard something about this. Yes. What? So what he's talking about is that how and and you you guys familiar with actuary tables and insurance companies and so uh, how you know let's pretend i've never heard of it to, to the audience so yeah. insurance companies use data to determine whether they should in, uh, insure someone and what the likelihood of 
them dying, if you will. So it's just life insurance? insurance. So it's life like, insurance, it's all like insurance. It's risk oh, assessment. It's, is what that's it, what okay. it is, exactly right. It's risk, risk assessment. assessment. So there's this huge data. You've heard so, of big data. There's so an like endless if, amount of data. If I was like Wilson with gay heat and insured my knee, they wouldn't cover me. It depends. But they would do it for a million dollars. That's like the risk is that I won't go to the NFL. So. But he did. He did. And, and he, he was insured, career. too. Yeah. 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 And he yeah, had a pretty good career. He's the first one I remember that happened to. But but so so they look at those things, right? And the data is always in the rears because you look and you say, well, people that are zero, like uh, one year to, to 20 years, the, the death rate's not very high except for accidents. Mm-hmm. 20 to 60 or 45, probably death rate's not very high. Then as you get older, the death rates increase. That's why the insurance costs mm-hmm. go up. Well, what they noticed is in 2020 when everything shut down, the death rate of young kids practically went to zero. So, because no one's traveling, no one's out doing yeah. anything. So no, accidents. no accidents. And the elderly death rate, as expected, because they were dying from COVID, because they stuck them all in uh, nursing homes together. Mm-hmm. They all died. So the guy looks at actuary tables. He looks at all these things, and what he's looking at, they really wouldn't much look at anyway. Yeah. Um, Me. Yeah. But but what they're looking at here is that um, then then we began vaccinating, right? Uh-huh. We began vaccinating. Well, what they found is through 2021, 2022, that age range from, uh, say, 20 to 45, death rates were up like 45% of what they expected them to be. Hmm. What? 45%. In the fourth quarter of 2022, it went as high as 80%. Wow. In children that were vaccinated, that, that group doesn't die. It went up, say, 60% higher than what was expected. And he had made this comment and I've not heard this before, that the UK has stopped suggesting that people below the age of 50 even receive the vaccine and stopped vaccinating kids altogether. Well, that just altogether. makes sense. Mm. But uh, Yeah, I, I would venture a guess that unless you're in a high-risk category, yeah. yes, you, you shouldn't get, like, like, hold on, vaccine, because they, they changed the definition of vaccine when this came out. But they did. They did. But if your risk is greater of, from dying of to- COVID, then of COVID, COVID, that's when you stub your toe. That's, that's your toe. That's your st- yeah. If your if your risk is greater of dying of COVID, then the risk that we're thinking are tied to the uh, vaccine. Yeah. Then by all means, go get the vaccine. Yeah. Oh, but I, if you're down to high risk, if you're not, I, 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 I was just say overweight. I'm. I, that, that's considered that, or the case. I should go get it. But if you're not. Diabetic, I believe it's one of the high risk. You have uh, pulmonary problems, uh, heart diseases, yeah. stuff like that, yeah. or old. I, I'm not anti-vax. I'm more vaccine choice is what I, what you would call me. I'm what well, is vaccine hesitant. I'm vex, vex, no, I, no, I think he's right. I think it's vaccine, vaccine choice. choice. And it, that, it just doesn't think it be. should be forced. It can if it is forced. I feel like you should be sued if you have a reaction to it. When well, we when the election rolls around in yeah. next year. How can it not be a center point of the election that in January 2021, Joe Biden's administration wanted everyone that had not been vaccinated to lose their job and be forced to stay home? Yeah, I mean, I mean, that ought to be enough right there to cause people to vote the other way. They act like it never happened. No, yeah, act like it never happened at well, all. Me and my brother had this discussion earlier today. I think we're moving to a point where – even steadfast die in the wool Democrats have to question the path of their party because they're getting tied to the progressive they're, liberal movement, and that's not what a Democrat is. Well, no, they're coming off they're coming off the tracks. They're going every which way, you know, and not going. They're not going a specific route other than. Insanity and and and, and chaos. It, is it's, going. It's, chaos. It is a cultural war. There's no way around it. Nope. And it used to be where it was a cultural war, and it was, oh, the right don't like gays. But it, we're not. We're well past that. Well, nobody's nobody's restricting anybody's rights. We're getting to the point where people are upset because you're not doing what they want you to do. That's where we're at. I mean, that's the, the cultural war right now. I think now. we can move on. Probably. Or they don't think the way you want them to think. Exactly. We're not doing what people those, want you to do. Those ringers, though. Not mine. Mine. It's it, on over there. It's the man running the show. It's the man running yeah. the show, not my fault. I didn't hit start on the video. I do have the audio <laughs> recording. Yeah. At least we got the yeah, audio going. But, 
But yeah. but it's all about <clears throat> you not submitting to what they want you to do. But moving talking about cultural wars, we can probably move right into Miami. Yeah, that's what I was going to hit, hit on next here. Uh, so Miami. in Miami, and look, this can you, you can say there's nothing wrong with having the drag uh, drag drag queen uh, reading hour, Story whatever you want to say, but. In Florida, I'll just read the article. Florida revokes the Hyatt Regency Miami's alcohol license after hosting an explicit drag show attended by minors. So prior to the performance, the Florida Department of Business sent a letter of warning to the hotel's owner that sexually explicit drag show performances constitute public nuisances, lewd activity, and disorderly conduct when minors are in attendance. Look, he didn't tell me he couldn't have a show. No, he told me he could. He just told me he couldn't have minors there. And apparently there's some video that's pretty outrageous that was performed in the presence of the minors. What was performed? I'm not really sure. I've heard heard a rumor. I I heard this on the radio that there was a kid had his face in between some fake boobs. So there's a kid in motorboat and a drag queen. Is what I heard. I'm not going to say that that's true or not. I'm I'm sure that rumor that could or could not be true. And you can look at this as heavy-handed overreach of the government, mm-hmm. or you can look at this as protecting children. I think we should be looking at it as protecting children. I agree. I'm not just. I'm just. There's two ways to look at it. On the protecting children side, we would not allow children to go to a strip club. Nope. Even if they wore pasties and had bottoms on, we would say that's inappropriate. That's for inappropriate. Children. Any 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 normal person with the normal sense of of good and evil and good consciences consciousness would say that yes children should not be anywhere that is sexually geared for anything mm-hmm. i think we can all agree so so all they did was because they di- they did it so DeSantis revoked their liquor license essentially for that hotel now so that therefore they that, that's a big shot for a major hotel yeah it is it is but i mean here people were upset over this but i don't see why i mean all he said is that children should not be involved in this you could have done this just fine without children being there and you're serving liquor really children shouldn't be there if you're serving liquor really and truly and you're having a I, that was my thought if it's a restaurant it makes sense but if it's a bar it's a bar at the hyatt regency at certain hours a lot of those bars don't let minors in exactly so so why are you so yeah it's i think this is another grooming thing you know and and you know what I don't blame. I don't blame the uh, huh. drag queens. I don't. They may not have known that they were going to be there. Honestly, they may not have. No, no, you're you're right. I mean, so for I've, the example I used, if uh, I take little Mac to a, a shake joint, yeah, the the, you know, the strip- we walk in and sit down. Who's at fault? Me, you, you the, the the door guy, both. both. It, it, it's or, both or the stripper. It's the parent. I, would, I don't, I don't, I don't think, think the stripper. I agree. That's what I'm I don't think. The, I don't think the drag performers. Yeah, right, I don't think. Right. The, I don't think the performers. But, but the fault. one running the uh, establishment should be held yes, accountable. Absolutely. It's the, it's the management and the parents. Yeah, and the parents. Yes, those are the two that are responsible. I don't blame the drag. No, queens, that's what I I'm getting at. I, I, I don't. They're there doing a show and they're doing their job. So this story gets a little bit deeper. We're going to move from the uh, deep red state of Florida to the uh, bright blue state of New York City. So New, New York, York City. Yeah, they're trying to force more people to move what from Florida pick or the out red the paste state. or something. What is well, it? no, a, a, Attorney the, General Letitia James, in, in response to what occurred there, she will host. She is hosting the Attorney General of the State Drag Story Hour for Kids in response to what occurred in Florida. Okay. I mean, so, 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 so what is drag story for kids? Well, how there's is, a whole how, group. How is that better for kids than just regular person story with kids? Drag story. Our New York city is a nonprofit group that's been showered in taxpayers funds, which has enabled them to send drag performers into public schools and libraries to interact with children. As uh, story. I, Look, I, how about we give our money to anybody? Anybody or, wants to read the kids. Anybody wants to read the kids. Exactly. Uh, was why, why does it have to be drag queens? Yes. Queen, 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 and, queen and my thing, my response to that is, are they, what kind of drag queen are we talking? Are we talking somebody in a full length evening okay. gown? You make a, de- you make a, I think I know where you're headed with this. So if it's like really over the top, elaborate that somebody's reading about Queen Elizabeth, you know what? I, I don't know that anybody would care. 
the, but these yeah. folks in used a, to when we were kids, if somebody said something about, about drag, it was a, a dude in an evening gown that obvious, yeah. obviously a dude that's yeah. pretty masculine, dressed as a woman. I think of Tu that, Wong, Wong Fu. Funny. You remember that movie Tu Wong Fu with Patrick <laughs> yeah. Swayze, Wesley Snipes, yes. and them? Yes, that's what but, I think. But, but, but I think but what people sexual. have trouble with, right, is the ones in the thongs with the, the big fake um, gazongas. Gazongas. You should have picked up those boobs today, Gary. It, yeah, no, I'm not gonna pick them up. But but that I, being I did said, pick them up. I put them back down. Though. Why is the state being involved in? I, I love the state funding reading for children, but why would you have a select group that can do it? Could you imagine the outrage if they said white man? Yeah, well, story white, hour. White, white, white story hour. Why are we just trying to confuse kids with gender or sex? We want to sex. sexualize children. Why? Why? I mean, why? I mean. So, I mean, if we're going to have, if it's okay for anybody, why don't we have like mass murderers that, you know, as part of their. Well, in fairness, to, um, the co ed killer narrates almost all the stories. He does. He, he, yes. he does the co ed killer. Ed Ham or whatever his name is. Well, Ed <laughs> Why do we keep, why do we, why do we seem to be the uh, Kemper, transgender? We're the transgender show, I guess. What the hell's that? What is this? It's, it's well, I'm having all kind of weird there, or, things. T's on the struggle bus. I yeah. think the government's getting in on us right now. So, uh, I, look, I don't know where this is headed, but I just happened across this story as we were looking. So, the state of Ohio uh, has an abortion measure. You know, everyone wants to have each state have their own abortion measure. But this, see, this is where you get the, the pork into the bill, right? So, they got a bill, they're going to tout it as abortion support for pro choice. But <laughs> what's in the bill, it would end parental consent for ginger. For, it would end parental consent for gender surgeries. This bill, Protect Women Ohio, spending $5 million in TV ads to fight for this amendment. So the parents don't have a choice if a child decides they want to have a yep. gender change. Who pays for it? The government will. State will pay for that ta- problem. Ta- ta- we can't get free health care, but we can get free gender Listen, reassignment surgery. I heard uh, a transgender was raising hell the other day about, actually, I think there's a couple of class action lawsuits. But it was a woman who is now a man, so I or transitioned to a man, so I call him a he. He said that right now it's nothing but a money grab. He said, with, it is. without it is. surgery, without surgery, you're looking at, a, I think it's like $1.2 million over the lifetime of a, a patient. Yep. They're living, their they're, uh, Life expectancy is cut in half. Yep. I'm, I'm, let me rephrase that. I'm not going to say half. It's it's cut. It's, it's, there's a it's significant. Cut signif- significantly. Yes. Because, because once you have one surgery, you have to have more. And then you have to. Well, not just that. They constantly have infections. They con- they also have all these different drugs that they got to have. And, well, and When did we go to not to telling children, don't love the body you're in. Don't, don't be yourself. You're not good enough. Go change. I blame the Army. It says. Because they said, be all that you can be. That's what said there's an army of one. In the army. Of one. Of one. Um, court rules against employee fired for refusing to attend LGBTQ training. Now, look, this is the <clears throat> name listed here. I don't so know what is what LGBT national. training? Yeah. Well, I'm we? about to. This person's name, and I believe this is their name. Eri to Chattacacqua Catacacquas Bosis. So okay. the LGBT training was intended to help prevent discrimination in the workplace. A federal appellate court rejected the appeal of a former account clerk in western New York who was fired from his job for refusing to attend mandatory LGBTQ training in 2018. Oh, that's the name of the whatever that I just said. So the guy's name is Raymond Zadonsky. <laughs> I don't have any. Sorry, I don't Raymond. I know what that stands for. <laughs> Sorry, Raymond. But if you work for a company named that, you shouldn't be surprised at anything they throw at you. Just saying. That was the name of the company? Apparently. Company? Wow. Wow. Um, and he likened it to unlawful religious discrimination. Well, he I sued don't them disagree. seeking reinstatement, back pay, and ten million dollars in damages. This will probably go to the Supreme Court. Good for Raymond. What? Well, he, he said they were aimed at changing his religious beliefs about gender and sexuality, and that attending the training would have caused him to violate the religious teachings to which he adheres. I am, I'm torn on this one. I really what was that? Because uh, when you work for a company, they can essentially fire can. you for any That's anything. True. That's the way I feel about it. They can fire you for, you know, like Arkansas well, is yeah, at, at will state. They are. Yes, but Arkansas can't fire you for disc- discrimination clause, which they clearly 
admitted why they fired him. That they did because they did. he didn't attend a mandatory training. Doesn't matter what the training. Well, it's yeah, a discriminatory but, but if training. The, if the training goes against your religion, maybe they had that requirement that you have to go to that training to work for that job, and that's just what it is. Just like, just like the. Hold on, let's talk about the. Let's go vaccine now. It's against a lot of people's religion to take that vaccine, but a lot of people got fired because of that vaccine. And, and it's they, the and company's they, choice, and they also have lawsuits over it. They do, but will they win them? Who knows? Uh, they've already won them in Cali- or New York. Is that look? here's another lawsuit that's out there. A California teacher says she was fired for not hiding the student's gender identity from parents. So she decided to tell the parent that the child was using a different gender identity and she was fired for it. For telling the parents? For telling the parents. Now that, that's something the parents should know. She said, are you asking me to lie to parents? And they clearly said yes. Well, then that district needs to reevaluate their... This is California. Now, now that's a little different because California. Someone's being honest in their job. You, should you be honest? Should you be fired for being honest in your job? No. Look, all I know, that's, uh, there are over twenty four thousand school board seats up for election this year, and you really need to pay attention to who you're voting in these school boards. Woke agenda is taking over our schools. I, I feel like it, here it's, we're it's in general wokeness. It's general wokeness. You know what? Go woke, go broke. That's what I know. Then here's another story about a Marion, Maryland, Marion, Maryland middle school teacher brags about indoctrinating students on TikTok, believes revolutions involve violence. Um, the North Bethesda middle school teacher. So he's calling also, for violence? She declared but, that there needs to be a war on capitalism and the revolution involved violence. <coughs> but you can't have a re- revolution when you control the narrative. Right well, it depends fact. on what you're projecting as you're 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 revolting against. Well, what yeah, are you revolting but, but against? As of right now, people that believe like us are in the minority. I don't. Are we? Are, no, no, are no, we well, the well, silent well, majority? We are the, no. we are the silent majority. Yes, yeah. you're I right. think we are too. But okay, so anytime the anytime one group controls the media, uh. The, and it's clear that they did. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's clear. still clear. They they control social media, regular media, uh, entertainment, yep. um, the music industry. And CNN has all but been damned to death over it. I mean, when you control all that, you control society. Yes, you, you control the portrait of society, is what I'm going to say. Portrait. Like, it's just, the, it's just the face of society, but not the body of society. Let's switch gears just yes. a little bit. We get stuck on transgender a lot, especially in youth. America's 10 longest-serving lawmakers have a combined 421 years in office. We've talked about this before, about term limits and those types of things. Term limits. That means they average 42 years of yeah, lawmaking. There's a couple of 90-year-olds, I believe. Hmm. Yeah, there, I think there's several, right? Um, so, so is, Chuck Grassley has yeah. 48 years. He's Ever since the year I was born. You know how different the world is today than it was the year I was born? Uh, Ed Markey, 46 years. Uh, Chuck Schumer, 42. Actually, Chuck looks pretty good for having been yeah, in he, Congress he for 42 he'll... years. Um, they don't even talk about, I guess they hadn't been in there as long, but you, th- th- this doesn't even include the 90-year-olds. I mean, Mitch McConnell, 38 Jeez. years yeah, Jesus. as a lawmaker. And you know that they've been protected in these roles. They don't know the what the world's like now. No. All they know is what their their rose or dark colored glasses tell them. Yeah, or, or what their pocketbooks tell tell them is what I see. So, so right now, being a politician is a job for yourself. When really and truly, you should be serving the country. You're a serviceman to the country, but it's no longer like that now. It's your that's well, your job. Well, there, there is was, to make yourself rich. Essentially, there was one point in our history where you had to pay for your own travel. Yep, it was actually a burden to be yes a representative. I mean, I mean, it, who was the last one that did that? That sort of just didn't make money while they were in office. Who was? Oh that? shit, I don't know. It's been not in our lifetime. Oh yeah, there was one. He was he was president. Oh well, yeah, fair enough. Donald J. Trump. Uh, there's also a time where the president didn't. Announced are running for president. They were nominated. Yeah. Kind of like the House representative was nominated. Yes. Um, you know, people think it's really bad here in the U.S. And Iran, this is with Jamie, you know, we talk about Iran quite a bit because Jamie's love of their uh, yes. nuclear 
Beautiful. Arms. I'm sorry, no, it's their nuclear Be- family. Nuclear Be- family. Beautiful people. Iranian teens who danced to Selena Gomez on TikTok were de- detained and forced to apologize. Look, you can't if have, you're I, dancing, you can't, girls, have, you can't have your kids running wild like that. You can. What were they? What was she playing? What the song five was girls it? performed to Gomez's "Calm Down" while wearing crop tops with their heads uncovered. Oh, I don't know that one. Wow, I be they I lucky mean. to still be alive? Are oh, you yeah. lucky yeah. they got a head to cover? Look, this is not right. There, there's nothing right. This story. Have you ever be, heard her music? That probably was a problem. Yeah. Well, the the real problem though is the way that Iran continues to if, treat if its people. She'd, if they played Dolly, you'd yeah. probably been told. Let's just that. look at the positives here. Somebody was listening to Selena Gomez. Okay, <laughs> so, somewhere Selena. Someone. Yes. I wonder how they yes. smu- smuggled it into the country. They couldn't pick somebody better than that. Uh, Sarah Sanders signs law creating civil penalties for doctors who perform gender transition procedures on minors. Man, she has lived up to what she, she said she was going to do. Yeah, but she did, you, did you see through. the child uh, labor law? She, or where, where, I, 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 no, I don't really. Or did, I, 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 I kind of skimmed I through. Looked hardly oh. into it, but I mean, I know roughly it allows children to go to work at like fourteen. What's wrong with that? I don't well, have a problem with it. I don't. Uh, I mean, at all. Hold on, Jamie. Were you working at fourteen? Yeah. Okay. So was I. So what's wrong with that? Well, I wasn't working in a factory, though. I mean, yeah. Yeah, but what? most factories aren't going to hire 14. Yeah, they're not going to 14. Years. Farm might. As Farm's probably already uh, employed. Well, I was going to say, yeah, years. I mean, I work for farm. As long as they're 14. getting paid minimum wage, what's the problem? I think I think it needs to regulate where they're allowed to work. Does it? Where? Yes, because some places no, are No, does it? No, uh, did no, 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 it, it does not. To my knowledge, it does not. Most manufacturing companies are not going to hire a 14-year-old. They won't even hire a 16 No, especially someone high risk or something like yeah, that. Yeah, now grocery stores maybe. Look, grocery no, store. I have, oh, no, I have no problem. I have no problem with a fourteen-year-old working at a grocery store. Grocery store. Make, make a little money for the summer. I mean, I have no problem with that. Thing is, there's a shortage, right? And we we're bringing all these people at the border. Speaking of the border, border patrol chief says agency does not have control of the southern border. Basically, there is no control of the southern border right now. You gonna tell us water's wet next time? Yeah. But but the, where are you reading this in the media anywhere? I, we need to stop talking about this and talk about what favorite flavor ice cream is Joe Biden's. That's what we need to talk about because this is old. We news. need to talk about uh, these Irish car bombs. Irish, Are you yeah. ready to talk about Irish car bombs? We can talk about those. Look, it, top of the morning glad, to you. I'm glad the camera's running this time. Yeah, it is. I'm glad we didn't waste okay. it with the camera. So, look, we're going to drink an Irish car bomb. We talked about it earlier. So, here we have our Guinness. All right. Now, let me back this up. I don't want to get anything all over my keyboard. Right. I'm back up just Yeah, like I don't want to crash another computer, you know. Yeah, yeah, I did that. <laughs> in all of my days, I've only done that once. All right, you got to drink. So, this it. is how it works. You have, hold on, let's talk about it a minute. You have Irish cream. You have Jameson's whiskey, about half and half. And then you drop it from a little bit of height. Because we little tried this height. earlier and they screwed it up, those two guys. You, but, you do realize if we make a best here, ginger is going to stay in our hide. I'm drinking mine before. Hold on, let me move my Let's just don't get it on the walls, guys. And here we go. Ready? Ready? Did you already drop yours? No. Oh, geez. Three, two, one, drop. Oh, oh geez. Oh, it got on me too. Oh, it's good. It's good. Look, if you never had one, Guinness is a stout beer, so it tastes kind of burntish if you're not used to drinking stout beer. But when yeah. you add the Jameson's, and look at Gary go. He likes it. So let's compare that to what we've now deemed the uh, favorite beer, Love Honey. What do you, what do you think? How, how does this compare to Love Honey? I mean, well, I mean, it actually is not. It's not terribly far off. Well, cause it's really not. I, I can't compare it to Love Honey because Love Honey is a beer. This is mix, mixed with uh, some uh, Jameson, so it's not just It's like beer. a mudslide and a beer combined. <sighs> yeah, it's he's got a little cream to it, you know. And the cream rises to the top. I'm quite a fan. I'm quite a fan of it myself. I really like it. That, so, that is one of my favorite things drinking at a bar. Yeah. Especially at an Irish pub. My favorite thing is right. drinking at a bar too, Jamie. All right, we got that behind us. We got the Irish car bomb and we're still going. We're, Here we go. We're still going. I may have to dig at, up some more news. Did everybody see our since uh we sort of missed the front part. Did we see the new? Uh, no, check it merch. out. Yeah. The new merch. We got a little some new merch. Um, they, these koozies made by I lost my Whitney. No, it's in my pocket. Whitney Nay made these koozies for us. No, it's not. Uh, I lost the video's my. on. No, it's on Hog over there. And look, you pull, ah. pull it up, and you can see the bottom of it. Yep. And so, uh, thank you to Whitney Nay for making those for us. We will use them. It's uh, looks really good. Mm-hmm. We need that on t-shirts, Gary. Let her know. Get ready. 
Yep. We need it on t-shirts. We or even uh, some other shirts. I wouldn't mind having it. Like, Please contact us if you'd like any merch. Any merch. How's that sound? Terrible. Actually, no, it sounds fine. But turn it around so we can see. Uh, on well, the it's upside down, but. Oh. That means that we need help. Send help. When it's upside <laughs> down, send help. We're right. in distress. I got a bit of a Pimpin lighthearted story. We've SOS. been so serious. Pimp in distress. It's wow. so good to have everybody back in Well, not everybody. DW's traveling. We hadn't heard much out of him either. I, he, but he, he was sad today when we was playing the uh, Irish car bomb. Yes. Yeah. Check this story out. Out of the UK. Okay. 18 female guards were removed from the UK's largest prison for having sex with inmates. Three former uh, guards have been imprisoned because of their affairs over the last three years, but 18 were fired. And look, these don't look like what you'd say. Is this a men's prison or women's prison? Men's prison. Why were there female guards at a men's prison? Uh, I know in Arkansas, equal. women. Equal. Well, I know in Arkansas, are women are allowed. People are equal. Come on, Scoff. You know that we can't treat anybody differently. <laughs> well, you know, I was talking to one of our friends who happens to be a guard for a prison of some mm, sort. mm Corrections officer. Corrections officer. Yes, corrections officer. And uh, so what I'm thinking is that as a guard, once you open up to one small little thing, mm -hmm. then the prisoners got you. you. They exactly. own you. So if you bring in like, okay, the guards, like, I need, I want to see this magazine. Can you bring it in, you know, and you bring in this magazine. I'm sure they work a little harder, you know, saying, try to get common ground with you and like, yeah, I got that magazine. I'll bring it in. Once they get that, they got you because then they're like, Okay, well, I need you to like, do this. Em. And they're like, no, I can't do yeah. that. And then they're like, well, I got this magazine. And it doesn't hurt them any that they got that magazine from you. It hurts you. So I'm sure at some, I'm not going to say all these women were not wanting to have sexual relations, but I'm sure some of them sort of got in that situation, I'm sure. Where Maybe they, it was like Laverne, uh, Tennessee, they felt or, pressure. Or if any of these UK. People were drug dealers, and they're like, hey, if you go get this from me, I'll give you $500 on the spot once you do it. And a lot of people were hurting for money, so or it might have been 500 pounds. We're in the U.K., right? Yep. Or euros or whatever. No, they're not, they, went, they stepped away from the uh, euros. Okay, from the pounds, and then they get their 500 pounds. Well, now they're like, well, I need you to come in here and be my friend for a little bit. <laughs> and you're like, no, and they're like, well. That would make prison not quite as bad. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I want to spend the last we, – we've been going quite a while, even though I didn't record the first 15 minutes. So <laughs> those of you that stuck around to watch this, we look pretty today. Um, I mean, it'll be there. It's just uh, the video will be just probably a picture of Fortenberry. Uh, but let's talk about SVB, Silicon Valley Bank. Let's talk about the economy right now. Let's talk about – are we headed – look, we've been talking about World War Three, but are we heading for a depression or a recession what what do you, I've got some stories to talk about, but I want to get. We have not heard Fortenberry's take on what occurred with Silicon Valley Bank and where he thinks we're headed. So, Father Fortenberry, give us your insight on this one. All right, my children, listen up. So now, here's my thoughts. So, I don't think it's going to be a big impact on our local banks. I really think a lot of this was an overreaction by multi multi millionaires and billionaires in a small section of society that won't affect us. That's my opinion. You know, uh, I mean, I don't like I it. don't disagree with you. I, I don't, but I, it is. That's going, actually pretty good. Insight. It is going to affect us because the government is essentially bailing out people that weren't insured. Uh, I, didn't their, think, I didn't think they were bailing them out. No, here's what the the government's doing. They're they doing are insuring. So right now, FDIC insures up to $250,000. That's for yes. any bank, I think. Yes, any bank. Any bank. But they are for Silicon Valley Bank they're and over. Signature Bank. They're going to insure whoever above that. Above that. So, so they're not. So insuring we're investors. we're paying for it. we're paying for their. Port I thought decision. they would. I thought they was only going to insure uh, like seventy percent. No, no, it's they're, they're, they're going to insure all the depositors, not investors, but any depositor that like two, three million, they're insuring it. Okay, so I hope y'all feel good after the, the 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 car bomb because I hadn't read this till literally just now. Oh, geez. Silicon Valley Bank donated over $73 million to Black Lives Matter-related social justice groups before it collapsed, while failed Signature Bank gave $850,000. So Silicon Valley Bank was known because they were investing in companies with a high A+. Plus. They had an A-plus rating in SGE. Yes. <coughs> what does SGE stand for? It, I know it's for wokeism. Social. But, yep. Governance. 
Invi- Excellence. So, no. So if I'm a investor, quality. If if I'm an investor, I'm gonna stay away from high SG, Elef- SGE elephants. Place. Yeah, yeah. Social. It stands for special government. No, it's not special government employees. <laughs> it's not SGE. It's uh, it's something like that. I know what you're talking about. Don't, don't let's not lie to the people. Let's give them the truth. Yeah, give them the truth. This is SGE or credit. It's a score for. I don't being know. Woke. Look, yeah. Terry did go this weekend and do some homework. You need to go out, sit down and watch. Um, uh, idiocracy. So I thought it was get, SGE, but maybe it's so not. you get caught up on all the local news. Maybe I said it wrong. What's, I've been known. What's that something. name? Uh, President Camacho. Macho Camacho. Macho Camacho. Yeah, President Macho Camacho. He's uh, going around. Everybody's like, he's coming out for the sequel. I was like, no, he's coming out because we're in, living in idiocracy right now. Yeah, that was the, <laughs> that was the whole point of that video. Yeah, because we're getting dumb. Oh, that is such a great movie. He's like Brando. It's what plants lo- crave. It's what plants but, but, crave. But what is Brando? It's got electrolytes. It's what ESG. are electrolytes? It's what Environmental and social governance. That's it. No. ESG. Sorry. ESG. They have an A plus ESG score. Environmental and social governance. And they were donating. Look, they donated $73 million to social justice groups just, be- just before it collapsed. Yeah. And they also gave all their employees bonuses before it collapsed too, because they knew that to weird. Happen. Oh, isn't that crazy? And I'm sure they don't have to pay that back. So, but 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 why should you, Gary? Why should you? Pay I shouldn't. For it? I shouldn't. But you know what? The, why must we pay for it? The government's going to make us pay for it because because they are scared that a bank will go under, is what they're scared of, and then they'll create depression. Well, what they've done is so what occurred in 2009 is occurring now. Bank of America rakes in 15 billion dollars as panicked customers ditch small lenders for too big to fail firms. So what people are doing is taking their money out of small banks, yep. which actually your small local banks are okay cuz they're not investing no, in this they're not. dumb crap. No. And it, they're moving it, 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 it to like large so, too big so to fail banks. Why are they re, why are they re- reimbursing this money? You when you invest in a large bank, you know your money. You know what they're doing with your money. They're taking a bond, turning it, flipping it, putting it in investment, and seeing what happens. That's what they're doing. Yes, exactly what they're doing. So, yeah, and so they made poor investments. Yes, the, at the end of the day, they made poor investments. Yes, they're, they're making poor investments, and that's bad business decisions. And so, therefore, I I think the only people that should be insured you know what? are up to two hundred fifty thousand people, and that's, that's the right. end of it. Shout out to uh, uh, Julie Branch. Branches. Uh, Bank Branch. Evolving Trust. You know what they ain't doing my money? Branch Thompson. They're not losing it. No, not they don't care about ESG. No, they don't worry about ESG. They worry about your money is what they're worried I know about. When so, I, I know when I go tomorrow and I want to, I need $200, or $200 I'll have it because that's probably all that's in there. So you're going to say, three pity. Maybe you ought to ask for help. You need a bell out. Sure, you need, need bell a bell out. out. You need a cheer bell out. I need Cheers. a cheer bell out. Now, so, look, now I, I, do know, so a I do know a financial advisor that would like to come on this show that said that this has links to the people who were at top of this company had links to the 2008 crash. I'm, well, I'm, that does not surprise so, me. So uh, set that up. We'll get them here. Okay. Yeah. I'm used to having you guys fina- know who they are. I'm used are to financial adversaries. We'll get them here. We'll get them Set here. it up. We'll get them here. Top Democrats. Oh, dang. I was going to ask a question. So who would you think they're, they're giving their money to? SVB Democrats, right? They get rid of Silicon Valley Bank donation. Chuck Schumer. What? Donated six thousand fifty eight hundred to charity, and Maxine Waters sends twenty five hundred dollars back. You do all predator. Yeah. So, yeah. They, so they're like making sure they try to separate themselves from Silicon Valley Bank. Mm-hmm. It's look. I hope this doesn't catch uh, contagion. It doesn't catch on, and people start making run on banks. Because here's the thing: if we all try good. to go get any money we got in the bank, it better be there. But it's pro- it may not be. If we went to go try to withdraw it, like, all at once, the whole ec- economy, economy of the U.S. Everybody needs to go, go listen. I, I love talking about other podcasts because I listen to other podcasts. But no. Tim Cast, go listen. Oh, to we've me. turned you on to Tim Cast. I, I have listened to Tim Cast. He, he's go, my go. guy right now. But, look, come Monday. Come Monday. Uh, who comes back Monday, the 20th? Steven Crowder, ladder with Crowder oh, that's right, is yeah. back, but only on Rumble. So check out Steven Crowder. Right, so I mean that's that's a good podcast. Look, though. Tim Cast, go check out TimCast.com. Tim I agree, he he's is. Good. He's got a lot. Crowder's of Crowder's my stuff favorite. There. You know, I, after, I don't know. I've kind of turned on to Tim after listening. Tim Pool. After listening to Tim Pool, he he is a prepper, is what he is, and he's awesome. Sure and, he is. and and he's also he was on um, 
He's a doomsday prepper. Uh, the prepper. Turks, uh, the young Turks. I mean, he's he's real mainstream or uh, middle of the road. He he really yeah, is. He is. But he but he makes. You try to get me on this dude. Look, we sound. You try to give me that ten full hat or whatever. That dude's a joke. Oh, I like ten full hat. No, I can't let dudes. Yeah, he's now, a comedian. He's funny, but that's about it. He's funny. It, where's the funny part? Because I well, watched well, that list says, of episodes. We go deep on boy. He, he you don't says, go no deeper than about right here. I, I do love ten full hat. I listen to him. I just wish he would, he would actually go deep sometimes. I wish he was interesting and, and worth listening to. Every once in a while, he'll let somebody go and they go deep. Oh boy, ten full hat. I don't like him. I, I Sam Triple I, okay. I gave you I gave you a shot. I, I still give him shots. I'm I'm waiting for him to every once in a while have a really awesome episode. He really will. But uh Look, I I look he some, I he like, sometimes uh, over I, I, I'm a Crowder guy. I'm a, a Tim Pool guy. I like Michael Knowles. I do like Michael Knowles. He's quiet. I, I his voice puts me to sleep. It does. Uh, he he puts me he relaxes me. <clears throat> I mean I like Peterson and uh Ben Shapiro both, but I'm not smart enough to know what they're saying half time, so I know you like that. I think guys dumb it down for me. What else we need to talk about today, folks? We oh, what had, else we got to talk you about You ain't talked about it. He had a story. I got a story. Let me read the headline. You here. have a story. Yes. You remember? Hold on. Let me. The Drew Barrymore story? Yes. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I'm going to read that about this. I'm going to read the headline. Drew Barrymore roasted for kneeling before trans woman Dylan Mulvaney. Oh, that douche. So Megan Kelly slams woke, weak, white woman Drew Barrymore for kneeling before trans activist Dylan Mulvaney. Well, and demands right. to know, and I gotta say, well, where why would you are kneel for anybody? Well, but Megan Kelly asked this question: Where are the strong women? Yeah, for real, where are the a woman, women? a Apparently woman, Dylan, a yeah. strong woman, <laughs> strong woman. <laughs> we are. That's a great, great South Park episode. It is. It's Macho Man. Yeah, maybe. yeah. But yeah, the that that was terrible. Just, I'm not here to talk about my transition. I'm here to. Beat these women, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, Dylan Mulvaney. If you and none of you are aware, it is a male who has transitioned to female, has had surgery. She had a big TikTok thing talking about using tampons and having spare tampons to hand out underneath bathroom stalls. And how whatnot. creeped out is would a woman be if a dude's like, "Here, you're gonna tampon." So, <laughs> Jamie, I want you to go just in the women's restroom. We're gonna give you a box tampon, and you go. You just sit there. No, I want you to sit there. No, I, you I, do I, this right I, here. You go. Hey, no, I, hey. Sit, I sit outside as they walk in. I pass them out. No, no, I want you in a stall next to him. Go, hey, hey, you, got you okay over there? Yeah, I hear you grunting. You need a tampon. <laughs> is that? They did. I think they grunt. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I've never sounds sound like you got some stomach cramps over there. Do you <laughs> yeah. need a tampon? I've there? never used one. I saw this one tranny over here trying to. Uh, we'll sit and look at him. So where do I put this? You put it nowhere. You put it down. You, you put, put it down. You, you put it down and walk away. That's right. I mean, you're a man. It's not going to fit your urethra. Now, granted, when she it didn't make any sense when she kneeled down because what she was talking about, Drew Barrymore was talking about essentially. I've heard it like 30, 40 times now. But she was Why talking, have you heard it so much? Because I, I've heard Michael Knowles was talking about Somebody else was talking about it. I think it was it was uh, Ben Shapiro, I think, was talking about it too. But essentially, she was talking about, you know, people, the, the biggest hater Drew Barrymore has, she feels mostly is herself. And at that point in time, she kneeled down in front of Look, she's this been guy and was on her knees in front of this guy. Listen, the, the, she's been through a lot. She really has from a young age and having addiction and taken advantage of by men. Married to Tom Green. Been, been through a lot. Yeah, that's enough to probably. I mean, but Tom know. Green's pretty cool, though. <laughs> he, he's a realist. He's almost like Russell Brand. Well, I like Russell Brand, too. Well, yeah, but Tom did Green's you like cool. Russell Brand until two weeks ago? Well, he's been on this path for about a year and a half, two years probably. Yeah, but he really, he's been everywhere. He has been everywhere, yes. He's yes. been everywhere. We need him here. Russell Brand, you can come talk to life from the patio. We're, we're, Look, we're, he looks we're like you'd have to lice all the seats when he got up. He looks gross. Look, I saw, I don't I remember. I love Russell Brand. He's funny. Who was interviewing him that day, but he was like twiddling his hair the whole time he was <laughs> talking about how he got canceled, basically, for not being left. Or, I'm telling you, I think Russell Brand is a genius, and the reason why he... Acts and does Katie Perry because do, he's he gets Katie bored. Perry. He gets oh. bored. Look, he married Katie, Katie Perry. Isn't Orlando Bloom married Katie Perry? Well, he was with Katie Perry though. Well, I'm sure. Russell Brand. Uh, I'm look, sure we're Russell gonna have, we're gonna do a uh, uh, entertainment. Uh, but here's another guy who really is a centrist. 
look, he is. He's more of a central. Yeah, Russell no, Brand's more yeah, of a central, yeah, but he, he gets labeled far right. But he's I mean, look not. at Bill Maher. Bill but Maher is a little centrist. I would say we're more central. I mean, and people would say if they listen to us, we're far right. But I don't think we are. I think we represent middle America. I think we represent the people that go to work each day, trying to raise a family, trying to keep them on the path to yeah. do what's right. Because we all want to do what's right. At least we need to all want to do what's right. Everybody uh, everybody on the patio listen to us. We're Pationians. To, Pationians. We're trying to get you to the path of righteousness, son. Well, you know, I was thinking about this on the way home today. At the at the path we're on, there's going to be zero Democrats in two generations. Yeah, because the they're going to abort, they're going to abort their self out, and they're all going to be LGBT. Yep. We're just going to keep popping out conservatives, and and they're going to die out. Yep. And you know what? All these people come across the border. Once they get here, they are not liberals. I, I had a guy tell me uh, uh, a they are not liberals. Buddy of mine, he he was talking about being a Democrat, and I said. Do you support this, this, this? And he said, well, no. No, I, that's no. That's no. no. Yeah. I said, and and their, their children, they might not realize, but their children will. And they'll be like, that's not what I was raised in. No. That's not what I believe in. They will either change the Democratic Party or they will switch to the other side or create a whole other party. We need another party. The two party system doesn't I work. say we get rid of parties. We need, we we need rank party. voting. But I love parties. I, I love parties. I love going to parties. I I've had a pee party in a minute. So. Yeah, me too. So yeah. we're done. We're done. Look, I'm done. We're going to get some parting words, and then we're out of here. So, Gary, what kind of parting words you got for us this evening? Uh, <coughs> man, you really put it on me there. Um, you struggle with the parting words. I word. do, because I'm thinking about other stuff when we get to this point. But, uh, hey, hey, everybody needs to definitely watch our podcast on the uh, bourbons. We're working at Marty Marty's bar. You can't views. watch a podcast, but it's all right. It's Actually, okay. Can. You can watch it sometimes. What's your part words for Barry back in the living? Mm-hmm. Uh, don't sweat the petty stuff, pet the sweaty stuff. We've used that way too much, but okay. Oh, we have we? Yeah, we used that last episode. Did hey, we? Look, yes. Hit the that. like button. Look, you can't do that early on because I forgot to hit record, but that's all right. It won't be the first. Probably won't be the last. But look, like we us. love everybody. Go like us. Listen to us. Love it. I love some of you. Outlaw. Outlaw. I miss y'all saying that. I didn't hear Terry.